What is up, YouTube? It's your boy Suave here, and right behind me we have uh, my My Hero Academia collection. Uh, this is going to be an update video of the art that Effa has done for me, so her link is going to be down below so you guys can check out her artwork as well. Um, but we're not going to delay this too long. Um, you know, again, your boy Suave and Liberators, we're here to liberate you from your boredom. Um, but again, we're not going to take too long doing this. Um, so let's just get into what we have here behind. We focus in on the top. We have Deku and Nochako. Now this is the second one is brand new. That's a Spider-Man and Miles Morales pose, and I just love the detail in, in this in this picture. I mean, the both Deku pictures look absolutely sick to me. Deku and Nochako uh, shit pictures. Um, Deku, like I said last time, he has this quirk of different abilities, um, but he's kind of just super strong. And then you got Ochako that floats. Um, so this is definitely one of my OG ships. Then we got down here, we got Bakugo and Kami. And uh, there's an empty spot here. There will be another Bakugo and Kami just teasing. Effa is doing one as we speak. So there will be something there. But right now we just got Bakugo and Kami. And this is, a, this is probably my second favorite uh, ship um, in terms of the series. Um, and it's not really big, it's just something that uh, I liked it in one episode that Kami popped up with Bakugo. I thought they had great um, personality to like mesh with each other. Um, so now we're moving down. This is another new picture. Now we got Shoto and Momo. So last week I showed you guys the fire and ice Shoto holding Momo with the cape. This one is just with Shoto holding Momo in his arms. And uh, I really like the detailing in this picture as well. You got Shoto with the scar, Shoto in his hero suit, and we got Momo in her hero suit. Um, and just the detailing in the outfit is amazing. And I actually have this comic. This is a Star Lord and Kitty Pride comic. Um, right before Star Lord proposes to Kitty Pride, and I, that was one of my favorite series as well, just because they did something completely different. Now I'm showing you some of the old ones. So we got Kirishima and Mina. Denki and Jiro, Tenya Ida and Mi Hatsumi. Um, I did move Tenya Ida down, <clears throat> and I do have plans for like the rest of these spots here, but we'll get into it once we get there. Ibarra and um, Saro, you know, this is one of my favorite Class B ships in uh, Class 1A to Class 1B ships in general that I have created, honestly. This is probably like my th uh, fourth favorite um, ship that I created because there's not much uh, pictures on the internet or anything of these two. But um, when you look at the hero suits and what they are, I mean, so Ibarra, she's kind of more, has like a godly personality. And then you got Saro, who's like kind of like a comedian. So I thought both of them would be a, just, a, just a perfect match for each other. Ibarra is kind of like Poison Ivy, so her hair is uh, the thing that grows so I'm just kind of zooming in to show you her hair is like plant type like vines and then Sarah shoots tape out from his elbow it's kind of like spider-man does the spider-man sh shoots web through his um wrist um and then we have two more empty spots and I do like I said I do already know what's going here it's just um me ordering it um I do have one of the pictures Effa has done but I'm waiting till there's a couple more so just giving you guys a quick update on what we have here now this is Tetsu Tetsu and Sentagage this is another one of my favorite uh, created ships this, I think this one will probably be like my number three if I had to pick um, and I just love this ship because I feel like both of them um, are actually a good match um, when you look at Tetsu Tetsu he's a fighter and he's kind of puts his emotions on his sleeve and then you got Sentagage who's kind of like a, a, a funny but um, kind of does whatever she wants you know kind of has this independent attitude and I thought even the picture reference I thought it was dope because you know Tetsu Tetsu is not even like he's kind of caught off guard here and it's kind of like Sentagage is the one in, in charge and I feel like that's the way it will be anything she wants is how it goes down so now we have the next picture which is Amajiki and Asui, I really like this picture as well. I felt like Effa did an amazing job of capturing the the just the the personality of these characters. Amajiki looks so shy in this, and Asui's just smiling at him, and it just makes a hundred percent sense because Amajiki's always really shy and un, un, unconfident in himself, and then Asui's like the exact opposite of that character. So when I looked at this ship, I said this would be a great match because Asui's going to constantly build 
Amajiki's confidence up. And I think that's all he needs. Next, we're moving on to the next one. And this is Muriel and Nejure. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite My Hero ships. Now, I like all of these ships that are obviously on my wall, or else I would have never got them done. But this is honestly one of my favorite ones as well. I'm a real big Muriel fan and Nejure. I think both of them are badass. They kind of give me a little bit of uh, Superman and Wonder Woman vibes. And then you know I kind of had to have the big three together. So I kind of put them close to each other. Um... Mirio's powers kind of like to go through the ground and Nedure has kind of like the, this wind type power So I feel like both of them are just OP together and I just love again the detailing in this suit now. This is a, a Detailing I'm sorry the detailing in Mirio and Nedure's suit to me is just off the hook and as for the pose This is a Wonder Woman and Superman um, Pose and I just think that they fit perfectly with those Wonder Woman and Superman type positions so Again, we do have some more, I'm um, teeing it off, you know, some empty spots here, but we'll get to them once more artwork from Effa comes in. Now we got one of the, one of the most funniest ones, and it's Manetta, and uh, I honestly forget this, this girl's name. Um, I know she's a Class B student. Um, uh, this is another one of my creative ships, not really one of my faves, but um, it's, it's definitely in, I guess, my top 10 of, you know, uh, creative ships by me. Um, if there's even 10 that I've done, um, but Manetta will probably be the last one. Um, not that I don't like it, it's just, you know, I, I, I kind of, <laughs> I just got all the joy out of it from this one picture. Like, there is no more for me to get anymore. Um, in terms of, like, why I paired them together, it's just Manetta's a little pervert, and uh, I don't know much about the Mushroom Girl, but I just thought she would be a good character to keep him in line. So we got Manetta kind of being on the phone, not really paying attention to anything, and then she's annoyed by him, like they're on a date, and he, he doesn't understand you can't be on your phone on a date. So that's hilarious. And then we got a little more empty spots. Now, I left this empty because I do already have plans for what pictures are going to go here. And then it's the top boy. This is one of my favorite, uh, not one of my, this is the favorite Class B ship um, that I created myself. So this is Yui and uh, Sin Karba. Um, Yui has the power of to like shrink and grow anything she touches um, So she's pretty badass and then Sin Karba has like uh, He could twist any parts of, a, of his body and make it like a drill So any so his hands legs torso even his head if he wanted to he could make it into a drill um, So he's pretty badass too and like I said this is my favorite uh, class 1b ship that I created myself So this is why he's at the top right next to Deku because Deku, Bakugo, and Shoto are kind of OG ships and then you have Mina and Denki who again I consider OG ships and then you got Tenya, Ida, and Mihatsumi who, who's kind of like on the brink of OG ships and then you have my curated um, ships that I kind of paired together so then they, then they start we got some class B and class uh, we got two class B people I'm sorry about that then we got the big three, and then one more class A, then the class A and class B. So I'm trying to keep the vibes going. But in terms of my, my, my top tier favorites, you got Deku, and then you got Sin Karba and Yui. Just, again, the detailing in this suit is just amazing. Like, I love the detailing in Yui's suit and Sin Karba's suit. Uh, this is a Gambit and Rogue uh, position, and I thought Effa just did a great job. I mean, even the detailing in her holding her own hat to me is just uh, sick and I do have more um, I do have more pictures on the way coming and then let's just do a quick scope of everything together so I'm gonna show you the whole the whole thing that we have here actually I feel like that's that's actually for the best so we have the pop shelf we have the villains we have class 1a Mina Kirishima Tokiyami Asui Tenya Momo, Shoto, Bakugo, Uchako, and Deku. Then we got Nejure, Shinso, and Mina, uh, Hasumi at the bottom. Then we got Overhaul, Hero Killer. And in the middle, we got All for One. So again, I just really, really think this shelf is coming together. Um, there is going to be a little delay in for the next My Hero video, just because, again, we gotta, we're got we waiting on... Um, Effa, it's, it's a process to do these these videos guys so we're just waiting on Effa to get the artwork 
and uh, for me to print it up. Now, in terms of like what what we do after here, um, I have a couple more uh, commissions in line uh, to finish up this wall. And then once we finish up this wall, I actually have an idea if you guys are interested and uh, could like this video, subscribe. Like, let's see if we can really get this video to like 200 views and maybe uh, let's go to like 15, 20 likes. Um, but what I have next is uh, me and Effa are currently working together and she's doing some art for me uh, that I, I would, I'm kind of uh, interested in doing a kind of a fan story type thing. Uh, something that I've been thinking about for a while as well so it's it's not going to be like a complete bookend of everything that happens but just an overall review of what I was thinking for uh, two type of fan stories um, one goes uh, more into detail the other one's just more of a fun story I, I came together and uh, I try to utilize characters that don't haven't really have roles in the My Hero Academia universe so uh, just uh, giving you a, a little sneak peek, uh, they're kind of focusing on Class B uh, characters. Um, and I'll even say this, uh, Sin Karba and Yui, they're actually going to be one of my um, one of my uh, main characters in uh, one of these side stories. Uh, I mean fan stories and the other one, um, they have like a loose tie-in to. But um, like I said, you know what I mean, there there is reasons why I have the art. I'm going to be doing some type of little fan stories. And, uh, you know, just to display them, the other ones when they come in, as well as the Funko Pops. So, guys, I hope you, this is all for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is Deliberators. So, I've been here. Hope you guys like the video. Subscribe. Until next time, peace. Have a good one. Love you guys. Be safe.